Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'd like to cover how to use multi-methods in Clojure. So first off, I'm gonna create a new Clojure project here by using line new, and I'm gonna call this project multi-methods. And I'm gonna CD into that project. And I'm gonna open it in VS Code. Once it's open, I'm gonna to go to the source directory. I'm gonna to go to core.clj. I'm just gonna get rid of this default foo method. I'm gonna run this project using Culver, start a project REPL, and I'm gonna use line again. Cool, once that's started, I'm gonna go back to core.clj. I'm just gonna create a plus one, one function, save that, and we can see it's evaluated to two. So that's cool. We have our REPL working, and let's start working with multi-methods. So the reason you'd wanna use a multi-method is if you wanna call the, the same function name, on maps or something, um, but you want to maybe have a different underlying implementation. So to give you an example, let's say I have three users. So I'm going to define user one and the name is Mark. And let's say their preferred contact method is SMS. Then I'm going to make another two users, Tom, and he prefers to be contacted by phone. And then Travis prefers email. Cool, so we have three users who have three different preferred contact methods. Let's create those contact methods. Define function SMS user, and this will take in a user, and we'll, let's say, let's say sending SMS to, and then our, and then the name of our user. So we can do this, let's say email user. And then we can also say phone user. And then right here we can say phoning. Cool, so we have three different functions with three different ways of contacting our user. But when I'm writing code, I don't wanna have to every time do and check and see what kind of contact method uh, the user needs before using the function, right? So what I'd li like to have is a function, let's say, notify user, which just takes in the user. It'll choose one of these implementations for me. It'll choose one of these implementations for me. So we can do that with a multi-method. So what I, let's just comment this out. So the way we create a multi-method is we say def multi, and we put in the function name. So this is the, the name of the function that we'll land up calling. So in this case, notify user. And then we need a function to decide which of the actual implementations to use. And this can return, um, in our case, it's gonna return a string, and the string will be either SMS, phone, or email. So I'm gonna call this function dispatch notify function. And I'm gonna defend that here. Dispatch notify function. And that will take in our user. And we'll just grab the contact method from the user. So if we run that for user one, let's say dispatch notify function, user one, and we print this, save it. Yeah, we get SMS. If we run it for user two, we get phone. And if we run it for user three, we'll get email. So I'm just gonna delete that, All right, clear this. Cool, so now how do we make a function that uses one of these, um, one of these methods? So we've defined the multi-function. Now we define the method to use. So we go def method, notify user. So we pass through the same function name. But then, as the second argument, we pass through the, the value it will match on. So let's say SMS. Then it'll take in the argument that we wanted to pass to this function, in this case, user. And then what we can have it do is SMS user. So now we can run notify user with user one. If we, oh, we have to pass through user here. If we save this, Cool, we can see we're sending an SMS to Mark. But if we run this with user two, 
nothing happens because we don't have any implementation for contact method phone. So what we can do is make another notify user function which takes in the phone key and then this will phone user. And now if we save this and we run notify user user2, we get phoning Tom. So now the last one is email. But what happens if I had another guy who doesn't have a preferred contact method, right? Let's say Matt and let's call him user4. Cool. So now we have another user who doesn't have a preferred contact method. And let's say we want the default contact method to be email. So whether you have the contact method email, whether you don't have like another specific contact method supplied will default to email. We can do that by using the default keyword and this will default to emailing user. So now if we pass in user, user form, sending email to Matt, and if we go user three, sending email to Travis. So they'll both work. But now with this dispatch notify function, um, all we're doing is using the contact method key as a function to pull the contact method from the user. So if you don't know, these keywords are actually functions. So if we go contact method um, user one, exactly what we're returning here, say, well, print this out, print line. We get SMS, let me just comment this out now. SMS. And if we do it for the second one, we're just pulling out what this key is. And if the user doesn't have one, it'll just be null. So we don't actually need this dispatch notify function like we have, like we're using here. What we can do is we can actually just pass in the keyword. So contact method, we can get rid of this. And now what we have is a multi method which dispatches on our contact method. So if we save, if we run this on user three, cool, sending email. Cool, and that's how we define a multifunction. So we've defined a function name and given it a function whose result will determine the implementation um, or which implementation to use uh, for which def method. And all of these def methods take in the same name as our def multi. They take in the result of our function, our dispatch function, and then they take in the arguments that we pass, in this case, just user one, or well, in this case, user. And then we can do with that user as we will. These are the underlying implementations. So obviously we could change them up entirely. We could just write the function in here and not define the functions up here. I just did that to show you that instead of saying SMS user every time, it would be easier to say notify user and let the multi method decide the implementation for us. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.